What is amino acid therapy? Well, let's first of all look at what an amino acid is and where it belongs in chemistry and biology. There are four major nutrients. The four major nutrients are carbohydrates, lipids, fats and oils, proteins and water. Of course, water is very, very important. And there are what we call adjunct nutrients as well, micronutrients. And that is vitamins, minerals and amino acids. When you have a protein, all proteins are made up of different combinations of amino acids. And of course your body, your body is basically about 70-ish percent water, depends on how hydrated you are. And then the rest of the dry weight, about 80% of the rest of the dry weight, 70-75% water, the rest of the dry weight is made up of proteins. Now that doesn't matter if it's muscle, skin, there's the collagen and elastin protein in the skin, uh, muscles, bones, tissue, so much of you. And of course your neurotransmitters and your hormones are made up of um, proteins as well. And all, all the human proteins are made up of basically about 22 amino acids, two of them arginine and histonine are what's called contingent, you need them for the early part of life but maybe not later in life, but if you're ill or your body is very stressed you might need them. And there are what's called essential amino acids and these amino acids you must eat, you, you really must eat them, your diet must include those amino acids and there's non-essential amino acids and these are amino acids that your body makes up from the constituents within the body. Now why focus on amino acids? Well really there's a revolution going on, it's the amino acid revolution. We're really discovering how nutrition and uh, aids the body and what the body needs to work. And amino acids are really important because sometimes they're out of kilter. You might not have a particular enzyme that processes a particular amino acid like um, a condition that some children are born with, phenylketonuria, PKU, and they're unable to process phenylket uh, phenylalanine lanonine, and they, it can cause brain damage. It, it is quite serious, so they have to be put on a different diet. You can be tested by a health professional, you can have a, a serum blood test, a, a, sometimes a prick test, a blood prick test or a urine test that tells you the levels of your amino acids and if you're ill or if you want to have better performance with your body and your mind you may add certain amino acids. Now I do say with a health profession because amino acids are very strong and very useful for instance, methionine is very good for detoxing heavy metals and lysine is great if you have problems with viruses, it helps control viruses. But those amino acids also need to be used in conjunction with certain vitamins and there must be that correct ratio, otherwise in fact it causes damage to the body. So I do caution you that you don't play doctor to yourself, that you consult a health professional. <laughs> and I have seen people come in who have done that and it's not a good picture. So there is something in natural medicine called Pfeiffer's Law and Pfeiffer's Law says that you can replace what you can do with a medicine with a natural substance. And we are replacing many medicines now with amino acid dosage so that the body is able to repair itself, repair itself, imitating nature. Naturopaths call it imitating nature. So amino acid therapy is really strong and if you have an ailment, of course it's made very famous by the bodybuilders. They take certain amino acids to buff up and make themselves and so if you need some help go along to your naturopath or someone qualified in medical nutrition
and ask about amino acids. Take care for now. See you later.